The thing about sex offenders is how different they really are when it comes to male and female. Pedophiles that are men, pedophiles that are women, and most importantly, the leniency and to some degree favoritism, especially among what men think when the pedophiles are actually very attractive women. It's very sad and very twisted to know how hypocritical our society really is. Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. This is something that I mentioned before, I just didn't get enough views on it and also I guess I just didn't give it the right type of impact. I talked about pedophiles before more than once on this, on this channel and I made a very good point on a few of them. I just want to let everyone know that this is something that most people would not probably even, I don't know, they probably won't even admit to it or something like that, I don't know. But this is something that's also known to be very true. Pedophiles that are very attractive and most importantly if they're female I noticed that they get more of a slap on the wrist when it comes to punishment while men they get you know the severe penalty of the time in prison and you know having to be constantly watching their back or whatever because of the fact that, you know, in prison, from what I hear, they're not safe. And I understand that when it's females, unless, unless they're unattractive, then that's different. But if they're very attractive, I noticed that they don't get a severe penalty at all because of their vanity, because of how beautiful they are. If they're young and beautiful, in their late 20s or something like that, or 30, 31 years of age, and they're having sex with a 14-year-old boy, or, you know, 11, 12, 13-year-old, and she is incredibly um, good-looking and gorgeous, the boy doesn't see it doesn't see himself as being a victim because of the fact that she's, you know, very attractive. So it's very easy for, for the boy to to enjoy it and then keep his mouth shut about it. Unless he unless he brags it to his friends and then they end up, you know, snitching on him or whatever. Excuse me. Now the thing is I'm not going to lie to you, I mean, of course, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of guys won't, won't admit to this, and maybe they would, I don't know. But we all had crushes on, on either on a, any on a third grade teacher or fourth grade teacher that's very attractive. It's actually normal for a boy to actually fantasize 
some kind of intimacy with them, whatever, that kind of thing. Or fantasize about kissing them or doing whatever, or even to a very perverted level. And, and if she's a pedophile, you'll make things even more intense. Now, I don't know how rare that is uh, when it comes to very attractive uh, young women that are pedophiles. I don't know how, how, how common that is or rare. But even, even I remember even in high school, uh, there were certain um, teachers or even substitute teachers that we found attractive. And of course, we were like, people would say, hey, would you do her? You know, or hey, you know, doing this and that. Hearing a bunch of 16 year olds talk about it and saying whether or not they would do her. And that's something that's, I mean, it's not right to talk that way. It's not, obviously. And back then, I didn't, you know, I saw it as kind of like a normal thing. And, and, and like I said, it's, it's normal to, to think that way. It just doesn't mean that it's right. But the point that I'm trying to make here, <clears throat> that I'm trying to make in this video is this. On how I don't know what I want to call it corruption or I don't know what it, or what I would actually call it but when a female pedophile who's very attractive molests a boy who is underage the severity of the penalty is actually mild uh, this is what I from what, from what I understand uh, from what I found out and I'm pretty, I don't know if there's any like rare cases in which they actually get the full penalty of 20 years, 30 years or whatever. But judge for yourself on this one. Um, this is apart from the George Lopez show. And after that, um, a clip from an actual report on these two, on these two women who had sex with a with an underage um, boy, and they had a threesome. And I don't know. I mean, it's it's really intense and it's very hypocritical because of the fact that they're females. So just watch this and judge for yourself. Number nine, Shelley Dufresne and Rachel Respus. This dynamic duo came crumbling down when the 16-year-old they were fornicating with likely got a little cocky and told his friends of the inappropriate relationship the three were sharing. According to the lawsuit filed against Dufresne, Respus, and the St. Charles Parish public school system, Dufresne allegedly had sexual encounters with a 16-year-old student more than 40 times within a 36-day time span. Respus came into the picture amidst the affair and, knowing full well the student's age, offered her apartment as the perfect setting for a threesome between her, Dufresne, and the student. Both teachers have pleaded not guilty to charges brought against them in Jefferson Parish, where Respus's apartment is, but Dufresne did plead guilty to an earlier charge of felony obscenity in St. Charles Parish.
What is your honest opinion on this? Do you find this extremely sickening because there's favoritism towards females that are attractive, so they tend to get away with it or have a lenient or have some some sort of leniency because of that? And what is your what is your thoughts? What is your feelings about this? I want to know from all of you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.